Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Here we are again. Back around another week has gone by. It's crazy, right? I probably say that all the time. I'm always amazed at how the older you get, the faster time goes. I just had a birthday on Monday, which is always fun. It's nice to feel loved. Good morning. Hi, Allie. <clears throat> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lee. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? Hi, Punk Pink. Hi, Michael. So, of course, I couldn't decide what I wanted to paint, even this morning. I actually painted a little bird. Um, they, they do a fun thing at um, a gallery here in Lancaster where they have all the local, I might have said this before, but they have um, the artists that are part of the gallery paint little four by fours, which are, you know, one of my favorite sizes. And we can do 12 of them and then they sell them all on Black Friday for a very reasonable price and it's called Art for Everyone. So it's super fun. So I've been working on those in the mornings now too. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. Happy birthday week. Yes, that's right. A whole week. Wouldn't that be fun? Hi Cheryl. And I was... Hi Anita. I was in... Um, Pittsburgh this weekend visiting Isabel, which was really fun, but that's why I still have a white canvas behind me. I haven't had a weekend um, day to paint at all, but I maybe this weekend. I'm very, very hopeful that that could happen. So let me show you what I was thinking of for this morning. Um, I've been itching to do, I mean, this isn't really going to be anything new, but uh, a little bit. I've been just kind of itching. I, I, <clears throat> work on things for a while and I'm content and then all of a sudden I start to feel like I need to push myself out of my comfort zone. Um, so what I thought I'd play with with this this morning is to do a super colorful base um, with my transparent colors and then go in and of course have fun with my my pigment sticks and then go back in with only a few colors over top to make the true shapes of the pumpkins. Now that's my intention, whether that's what happens. Yes, Ellen, yes, you always wanna explore white. And if you guys want this image, let me know. I could, um, I could put it on the blog post on my website where I, I always post all of these, a link to these on my website in case people land on my website and look for me and don't know I have a YouTube channel or or whatever so I could do that so if I forget remind me because I I truly do forget everything it's terrible 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 okay so we'll see how this goes because I just feel like playing and um I even have been feeling like maybe even working in acrylics a little bit too when I feel really playful I want to kind of feel like I need to go in and and just kind of make a crazy mess of things. And sometimes that gets it out of my system or it pushes me to try something new, which is always a good thing. Because I do, I get kind of in a comfort zone with everything in life, I guess, really. So I'm gonna be super loose. but also kind of have an idea where things are gonna be placed so that I don't um, overthink it. I wanna put in big, strong, confident brush strokes and um, not sweat the details. And I do tell myself these things as I'm painting because those things just happen naturally. That, that need for everything to look perfect. So my my exploration into painting loose has been a a long slow steady climb because <clears throat> you know when I kind of learned to paint everything I wanted everything to look perfect and that's totally not what I'm going for now I just want to be hi Gail So what's everyone up to? I had a really nice time in Pittsburgh this past weekend. I got to go to a conservancy. So rarely um, do things like that because like I'm the only one in my family who really would want to do something like that. But um, I got to and it was wonderful. I took lots of photos. I always want to go, maybe Ellen and I one of these days will go to uh 
Longwood Gardens on a random weekday. I always feel like that's um, something I always want to do is go do crazy things like that in the middle of the week. You know, you spend your whole life being a parent and working all the time and doing all the things. It's like I can't wait till I can go out for coffee in the middle of the week or go to Longwood Gardens on a random day. letting this be messy. Gail said, going out for a walk in the beautiful autumn leaves and having a picnic. Oh, that sounds amazing. That's what you're doing today? I don't know if we're going to have a beautiful autumn day here today. Actually, I have no idea <clears throat> what today is going to bring. I didn't look at the weather. Ellen says, yes, Kim, for sure. Going to retire soon. Have so much fun. Yes, absolutely, Ellen. I agree. I'm getting messages here and I'm getting um I've been a little side note I've been having a lot of problems with my computer ever for a, quite some time now and my business partner is um I got I'm getting a new computer which is so exciting I'm hoping it solves all my problems and it's lightning fast I was hoping that the problem was me my impatience and thinking that everything in the world should go much more quickly than it does besides time, uh, but my business partner took it home and reinstalled everything this past weekend, and he said, it's not me, it's the computer, so he's, so I might get little messages. I don't know if you can see my messages coming up, but I might be getting messages that he needs passwords. <clears throat> so I'm going to let this have the messiest of middles ever. I've been pushing my messy middle... People who um, watch me know that I, I love the messy middle of a painting. It's almost like I love the challenge of bringing it back from looking terrible. And actually I do. I love making anything unattractive look beautiful. It's like kind of like mowing the yard when you mow the yard and then in the end it looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. I kind of love that. A messy project. Except with cleaning. I'm not very good at that with cleaning. I don't enjoy that. So this could be a mess. It might not turn out. But it's important to play and try things um, with your art practice and not care about it turning out. Because that's how you explore and learn new things and grow. Super important. As I'm saying all this, I'm telling myself this really. <laughs> more so than you. I have to look for my really dark darks. Blueberry look, yeah, they do look blueberry-like, don't they? So those of you who are doing Art in Bloom, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, have you started it? We have a live today at 1 o'clock. I'm going to do some color mixing, color charts. I love doing that. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I, it's a little messy looking, but that's okay. Really messy looking. I still haven't had a chance to go take photos of pumpkins yet. Oops, I'm making it messier. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to wipe anything off there. I think I'm going to go with pigment sticks. see what happens. So where's everybody from this morning? Do I have any new friends showing up? Mm. 
<clears throat> oh, Vienna, how lovely. Austria, wow. Rome, oh, Rome, Georgia, <laughs> Woodstock, Connecticut. There's always a class that I want to take in Woodstock, Connecticut. Egypt, North Carolina, Luzerne, Switzerland. How wonderful. Hi, Helen. East end of Long Island. Ooh, that, um, the pigment stick mixed in there with this, um, with the color underneath. It's really pretty. I have to try and hold on to a little bit of that and see what happens. I need a steadier um, arm here. Do you see it bouncing around? I'm sure you do. New Jersey. Joanne, hi Joanne. You're not too far from me in New Jersey. Kingsville, Texas. Stems over here. That one's there. Yeah, that was a, a gold um, pigment stick. wonder what colors I should mix for um, the colors on top. I think I need to put a few more darks in here. Overland Park, Kansas. Ontario, Canada, Gail's from. And I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I don't love this color. Every time I use it, I, I want to love it, but it doesn't have this quite the same sexiness that some of the other um, pigment sticks have. I did get this set. I haven't opened it yet because I just love brand new art supplies that aren't opened, but I really should look at those colors. I think I have a lot of them, but there are a few in there that I don't have that will be fun to play with. <clears throat> I like that blue is nice. My goal is to let some of this show through in the end. That is a messy middle right there, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly messy. Terribly, terribly messy. <clears throat> Those are oil pastels. Um, they are called RNF pigment sticks. So they're like oil pastels, but they're actually oil paint in a stick form. Um, so they're a little different. Like I would call oil pastels those little skinny ones that are, um, I can't even remember who makes them and I don't have them sitting here in front of me. Oh, I know I love that blue. It is really pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, so what else am I looking at here? Let me. All right. Hi, Chris. Oh, what size are the pigment sticks? Or is that what you're asking me? Like these are, they come in two sizes. They have really big ones too. These are, uh, now it'll say it on this on this container, I think, won't it? Um, 38 milliliters is the size of the stick. They have some that are really big and fat. I have a couple that I ordered by accident, but for, I usually paint small, so for me to do that, it's a little crazy. I'm going to add a little bit more transparent of my, um, whoops, I just made a mess of that. I think that's good. I think that I could not make that any messier. I'm sure I could. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna clean up. I have 
Oh, I have a couple colors out here. I did paint a bird, like I said this morning already. So I have a couple colors out. I just leave them out. <clears throat> So I need to mix um, like a shadow color and then some light colors. This might be nice in the shadow. It's very pretty. Take a little bit of the same color that I had here. Kind of making something that I can use in the shadow areas. It's nice and dark. Lighten that a little bit. Want, so as much as I just used all those super bright colors in the background, I want to use very subtle <coughs> colors <coughs> over top. To see, just to see what happens. Like I said, I'm playing around. Kind of experimenting. <clears throat> I would like a, a little bit of a muted green for the stem. A little lighter. And so I need a couple of, of whites. I love this. I was, this is just, um, I had mixed this earlier. This is the old Holland um, violet gray, which I have up here on my palette. Oh, there's my finger. I couldn't see where I was pointing. I need, um, well, I have white right here. I'll add a little bit more white to that. I think I'll make a warm white too. Hopefully, that's, I made enough of that. <clears throat> Some of that and take a little bit of my video blue extra pale it's a very subtle um, palette and um, I'll take a little bit of this and get more white more than that <clears throat> It's almost like I have a few shades of white, like a warmer and cooler whites. I'm trying to think if I need one more. <clears throat> Might take and make just a little bit of a fun accent color. I'm going to take some of that light blue that I have and add just a smidge of this. Well, that was much more than a smidge. That was a huge smidge. I'll put more white in there. I need more white. <clears throat> Fry me a donut. I love that name. <laughs> that is fun. Hi, Lonnie. Question about Nova acrylic paints. Do you know how long they take to ship? Allie, I've never had a problem with them taking a really long time. Of course, you know, it seems shipping is getting crazier and crazier. I was thinking about launching, like selling my <clears throat> calendar already because 
I'm really worried about shipping over the holidays. But that being said, I've never had an issue with it. And they're, they're really wonderful. Have you tried them yet? Maybe I'll do acrylic some morning. Some Wednesday morning. All right. I think that's a good palette to start with. So... For anyone who just joined, I'm, I'm playing around and made a really messy beginning of my painting here of these pumpkins. And I'm going to go over top with <clears throat> hopefully intentional. Hi, Laura. Colors. <clears throat> Marsa Bell's. Um, it is. It's a piece of marble. It's a piece of countertop. I just got it at the countertop store. I got it because when I was um, creating my Art in Bloom course, I needed... Um, <clears throat> to have something that I could paint on that wouldn't be reflective, like a piece of glass. So I got this and tried it out and loved it and never went back to using glass again. <clears throat> so I'm looking where my darkest areas are. I want to put down very intentional brush strokes and take my time and not um, like fuss with what I'm doing. Not like scrub my paint in. Just lay down paint and let it go. I don't know why that's so hard to do. <clears throat> I always feel like I need to like work into to colors and blend it on my canvas, but I like it much more when I don't do it that way. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> that looks a little crazy, doesn't it? Just pushing these, um, the ones that are further back, or in shadow, actually. They're, I guess they are further back and in shadow. But I won't let that crazy color show through. I really enjoyed Art and Bloom. I'm still working on the demo paintings. Great, Mary. Good. And there's no reason to hurry through any of it. Take your time and enjoy it. And don't rush it. Blending is one of the hardest habits I'm trying to break. Yes, I agree, Joanne. Same with me. And I don't know why it is that, like, see, I'm doing it right there. I was just blending that and didn't want to. I keep choosing things that I've been painting on these Wednesday mornings that's taking me a little bit more thought. So sometimes it's hard for me to read comments and think and paint all at the same time, but I am doing my best. Feel free to ask me any questions. <clears throat> Grace Notes by Martha Ann says, laying down paint is so hard for me. I think maybe from all those years of coloring with Crayola, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's ingrained in us because we would color. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just um, kind of colors that are inspiring me. I was just, I try to make color chips when I come up with a color that I love that's unusual so that I have kind of a resource of it. And I was just recently painting something and I got them out as, as inspiration for what I was working on. They're really fun colors, aren't they? Maybe I should add some of those colors into this. <clears throat> so 
I'm still kind of dancing around looking for my my uh, <clears throat> dark colors, my dark areas. And if this ends up looking nothing like pumpkins, that's okay too. It's just, I'm just kind of experimenting and having fun with it. I was talking about how important it is to play. I think that's one of the things that I do to kind of help um, grow my own style is by playing like I'll push myself out of my comfort zone and do something and then little by little it, the things that I enjoy about it or that I like about how it turned out will start being in my paintings <clears throat> is that a black and white photo is your painting gonna be like that in the end gay it might be like that in the end I don't know I wanted to have crazy color showing through but it is not a black and white photo it's just a photo of white pumpkins yeah, it could be beach balls wouldn't that be fun <clears throat> this is from last year. I still haven't had a chance to go to the pumpkin farm by my house. We have the best pumpkin farm. And I will go and take lots of photos. Again, I have to go on a nice sunny day. Hopefully this weekend it'll be nice to do that. Yeah, they're kind of unexpected colors. That's my goal. <clears throat> How do you come up with the unusual colors from such a neutral photo? I just played around with it. Like, I, did, I wasn't as thoughtful as I could be, but if you look, well, when I see what you're looking at, it looks much pinker. In, in what you see, I think. But I can see blues and pinks in, in there. Um, but I was trying to be sort of spontaneous with the whole thing. Cast shadow back there a little bit. I wanted to capture that. And this side of this pumpkin is a little more in shadow. Nice little intentional brush stroke there. Let that cold show. <clears throat> what time is it? 8 30. I'm doing okay. It's so fun to see color combos. You come up. Yes. Yeah, and I try to let it happen very organically. I try not to um, overthink things. Thank you, Anita. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. What's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? Or Diet Coke? I see a lot of like pink down in this one. Coffee. Me too. I'm having my coffee. I've started to drink tea um, in the afternoons now, and I'm really enjoying it. it. Took me a while to get used to it. Because I'm not an afternoon coffee drinker at all. I have trouble sleeping as it is. I would never drink coffee like late night or anything, but I would, um, sometimes it's nice to, especially in the winter, to have something warm in the afternoon. Just made coffee, vanilla latte. Ellen, that sounds yummy. The shapes. That's a harder edge right there. That might be a little too red. It's 
a crazy mess, isn't it? And yes, just like you, I'm thinking, I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. But I'm trying not to be precious and not care if it doesn't. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? I just, well, you guys all see me mess it up, but that's okay, right? You're, <coughs> you'll forgive me. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I have any other <coughs> dark areas? Good for digestion. What is Ellen? Like where some more dark areas are that before I go in and <clears throat> play with the lights, which like sometimes when I'm working on something like this, I'm so excited to go in and put the highlights in there that it's hard to wait. <clears throat> oh, ginger tea. I should get some of that. My mother-in-law was looking for white tea. We took her grocery shopping last night and she wanted white tea, but I didn't find anything called white tea. Oh, I like that little bit of bright blue there. I'll try to leave that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just looking at it and thinking about, do I have dark areas? Do I like what's splashing out there? Am I ready to add some more lighter colors? Um... little bit and see what happens. My favorite is hibiscus tea. Naturally sweet and very relaxing. I don't need to add anything to it. Oh, in, oh, in England. I wonder if that's where she saw something. Like She probably read it somewhere and then thought we'd have it at our grocery store. Um, yeah, I've been using my uh, friend Lori is a beekeeper and I've been using her honey in my tea now and I, it's really making me enjoy it even more. Her honey is wonderful. Like I love how loose that one feels. I love the colors that are in there. I love that I didn't overwork it. And I think that particular little piece of the pumpkin can be done. <clears throat> the pumpkin peeking on the top left corner is glowing. This one. Yeah, there's a lot of um, <clears throat> light going on in there because the 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 um, the gold is really strong. All right, so I'll work on, on this one a little bit. I'm trying to do my intentional brush strokes and not fuss with them. I love the spontaneousness of working that way. So I think of it as like I'm carving out 
the shapes now. And I like to leave a little bit of that, like that texture in there is nice too. I feel like I can't leave that quite as unfinished right here, but. See that settling. Yes, I'm settling. Intentionally settling. I, I like that term. Yes, I'm trying to intentionally keep it subtle. Um... But isn't that fun with those colors popping through there? Settling down the colors. Yeah, the bright colors show through. Yep, yep. So brave. Yes, I'm, br I'm not really all that brave. Ellen, just with painting. <laughs> There's no risk. That's the thing you always have to keep in mind. There's no risk if you mess up a painting. Nobody ever gets hurt. And all you do is learn. You walk away from whatever risk you take and whatever crazy thing you do with your art, you will learn from it. I promise you. Oh, the size of the surface, it's a six by six, and I'm using my Rosemary number eight brush right now. What did Lonnie say? You said, I think so. Magical, transparent layers ever. I know, isn't that fun to do that? So I will, if you guys want to try this, I'll post this. Um, it always takes me a little while to get it up on my website, partly because I don't know if my internet's slow. I've just been having problems with my computer, but um, I will post this so you can um, get this image and try it yourself. I'd love to see what you do with it. It is so much fun. And they'll all look so different. And that shadow, I need to. Now, see, I'm fussing with it. I don't want to do that. Now I got a brown shape there that I'm not loving. So I will. Pretty fun, isn't it? I think I need a little more, maybe a little bit of pale pink in here. That really went wild. It really does have a pink glow to it. Like, this is the kind of thing I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about it. Oh, good. And he is going to try it, please. Yes, good. I would love that, Allie. And it will be gorgeous. Yes, Allie. Absolutely. Oh, I missed when you asked, good morning, Emily. What color was on my brush? There were all those light colors that I mixed. Got a new purse from all my kids for my birthday. So fun. Something I don't normally, I would never really probably buy for myself. So, fun treat. 
And I love those wild colors back there. I'm going to probably try and leave them if I can. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Thank you. Fun having a birthday, even though I'm not sure I like getting older. But there are perks to it for sure. 8.40, I'm going on time. Good morning, Dawn. D Cook 44 is my sister. It almost looks like it would be a cool uh, painting like for a children's book or something, doesn't it? Because of the whimsy of the colors showing through like that. Thanks, Dinah. October birthday. Yep, so many. I think a lot of artists have October birthdays. So many people that I know do. We're taking my mother-in-law out for her birthday in next this weekend. Be fun. She's um, celebrating her 92 and she is doing really well. I think that's a big accomplishment. Okay, what do I have a big dark area there? I need to blend here a little bit. See, October 1st. Yes, oh yes, I've been wiping my brush off in between like that. Mm -hmm. Blending that a little bit. I need to look for spots where I have like my canvas showing through also. And any other places where I need light lights before I put my little stems in. 8.42, I'm doing really well on time today. Do you see any white spots showing? Not that it matters. It doesn't have to be perfect. I love imperfection too. I think we live in a world where everything's been so perfect for, you know, like mass produced things that imperfections are beautiful. I could put some stems in there now. It's just so fun, isn't it? All right, let me see. I have this fun green. This might be too dark. It might be better for the bottoms of the stems. And I might have to put a, a light in it a little bit for the tops. brighten lighten and brighten maybe lighten and brighten Sorry, I sometimes hold my breath when I do parts of my paintings. <clears throat> in acrylic. Oh, to do this in acrylic. Yeah, that would be an interesting thing to try. Um, I sometimes have, like, I'm challenged with acrylics drying so quickly, but I need to dive into them and give them a little bit more of a chance and see what happens. Um, yeah, I think it would be cool to, to try that. 
any other spots. I kind of think maybe I'll be overworking it now. I think I might be happy. Love that green. I could fill in down here a little bit more. A little messy down here. I don't want that, that dark, so let me go back in. I love the perfectly mess of this, so I'm going to sign it over here. And then I think I'm happy with it. Um, I don't think I need any whiter whites. Um, and it's, yeah, all those lovely colors popping through. Okay, I'm going to pull the tape off and then I'll show it to you up close. Hopefully, lighting-wise, it'll be okay to show you. Um, I always have to be careful at the corner here when you pull the tape off. Uh, my hair tie on my arm. I forgot to take that off. Oh, I have my tape hanging on my paintbrush. I have to be careful. All right, can you see that? You see all those, the colors showing through? Like, I love that vibrant blue in there and the turquoise. Like, there's some turquoise popping through. So, it's still loose. You can still tell that it's um, pumpkins, but they have a lot of personality. So, that was just with doing, and I love, look, I love that texture. See, no, wait, can I get it in close enough? I love that that texture right in there too and even the little bits like there's a little bit of thick paint right there on the edge love that love 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 <clears throat> so how fun with that and now wait, let me turn this around so thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning i will like i said i'll post this um I'll work on it and get it up on my website with the reference image. So if you guys want to do it and then be sure to tag me um, and show me your painting and, you know, no pressure, do it, have fun and don't um, put any kind of pressure on yourself to make it look any way. Just enjoy the journey and just think there's no risk to it. It's just having fun. And that's was my goal this morning. Like I just thought I just feel like doing it this way it could be a flop it might not turn out but it doesn't matter it's just a painting so anybody have any questions here oh I missed some things <clears throat> the stems really make yeah the stems and it's hard to wait till the end for that too what were you asking what brush I was using grace notes by Martha Ann Pop. What are color works the other? Yes, totally the other way around. I was originally a, always did watercolor. Um, oh, the gold. Oh, it was the pigment stick. It was this, um, my iridescent RNF pigment stick. It's RNF. That's what the gold was. Um, yes, I always was a watercolor artist to start, and it is. It's going from dark to light instead of light to dark colorful the other the funnest so fun right gorgeous oh, I missed all these comments oh I love how you take chances and make things fun yes Allie you're good at that too gotta keep it fun otherwise why do it <clears throat> thanks Michael oh the tape it's called here I have it right here it's called um artist tape can you see it's like the most boring name in the world pro uh, it's from um Jerry's Art Rama I have it in all different sizes and it's the perfect stickiness. When I started doing this, I would use um, washi tape, but it didn't stick enough. So paint would get down underneath. And this is like tape we used to use when we did mechanicals back in the day with graphic design, we would do mechanicals is how you would um, paste things up for printing. And we would always tape our um, overlay, our piece of vellum or tissue paper in the back with this artist tape. It's great stuff. I love having all different kinds of tape so that I have really sticky tape, not so sticky tape. Eric, I, I love what you said. No one will get hurt if you mess it up. Yes, that's right. Take risks, have fun, enjoy the journey. So glad I was able to see you. It's beautiful. Sorry, late in joining. Oh, that's okay. Hi, Jane. How are you? 
So, yep, I will save this. It'll be on my YouTube channel. If you go over there and watch my YouTube, be sure to like and, and follow. I got to work on that. You know, all these little social media things get exhausting sometimes, but I just do a little bit at a time. Oh, I was painting on Arches oil paper. Um, that's something I've been playing around with, and I put a couple coats of gesso on it. Hi, Gachi. How are you? So, guys, um, I'm off to work. I will load this up and let me know if you have any questions. But I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week. Bye. I bought some yellow frog tape for Del. Oh, I don't even know what yellow frog tape is. I'll have to look that up, Karen. Thanks for telling me. All right, see you guys. Have a great day.